How to animate for beginners. First thing we'll need, definitely a drawing tablet. If you've never done digital art before, here are some recommendations for tablets that I totally recommend you buy. There's this one, the Wacom Intuos Art Pen, for about $70. The very first tablet that I used was actually a Wacom that looked pretty much like this, except it wasn't this one. If you can't afford $80, then we have this one, the Gaumon 6x5 inch soft drawing graphics tablet. As you can see, it is only $34, and I've seen some pretty good YouTubers review it, so this one seems pretty reliable. And then last but not least, if you're super broke, you can check out this tablet for only $23, Amazon Prime. <gasps> I've actually never seen anyone use this tablet before, so I guess do your own research, use it at your own risk, but you can't go wrong with $23. For those of you who don't know, Macromedia Flash is a very old version of Flash that came out back in like 2003, so it's been 15 years, and obviously the newer version of Flash, Adobe Animate, is not free, so if you do want a free version of Flash, you can use this one. I'm going to put a link down in the description where you can download this program. Once you have it downloaded, right click, go to Properties, Compatibility, make sure it says that. Check the Run This Program as Administrator box, click OK. And then you can actually run the program. We're going to enter the serial number found in the description of the video. You can just copy and paste the whole thing if you want, it still works. And yeah, there we go. The program is fully licensed and works just fine. I've actually never used Macromedia Flash 8. I've only been using the current versions of Adobe Animate. So let's see what I can create. Since I've never used this program before, I'm just going to customize it to a way that I feel comfortable with. Like, you definitely want to have the library panel, the properties panel is on the bottom. I'm so used to it being on the same side as the library, but it's on the bottom here, but that's okay. I like to set my stage at 1080p, so we're gonna set it to 1920 by 1080 for that sweet HD content. Once you have your tablet plugged in, make sure you have the pen pressure tool selected so that way you get difference in your strokes and they're not all the same. Let's actually animate something now. So in case you didn't know, I'm a huge Pokemon fan and recently Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee just got revealed. So why not draw a Pikachu? Super easy, super quick, super fun. Allow me to sketch a Pikachu. And now that Pikachu is fully sketched, we're going to create a symbol. So we're going to go to the pointer tool, the little mouse tool. We're going to select all of Pikachu, and then we're going to right click, and then convert to symbol. We're going to name him Pikachu. And instead of a movie clip, we're going to make him into a graphic, and then click OK. Now, if we double-click the Pikachu, now we're actually inside Pikachu's symbol. I know symbols kind of seem confusing, but it makes a lot of sense once you learn how to use them. I'm going to create another layer. One is going to be for the outlines, the other one's going to be for the color. We're going to put the color layer on the bottom, and then we're going to actually fill it in. By using the paint tool, I'm just basically going to fill in all of Pikachu with the color yellow because, you know, Pikachu's yellow. And I just realized I forgot to draw his tail, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Now, in order to animate Pikachu, we need to create another keyframe. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the timeline and we're going to extend it by using F5. Once you extend the frames, you can create keyframes by hitting F6 or you can just go to the top where it says insert and then insert keyframe. Every time you want to change something, you have to add a keyframe, otherwise it won't stick. Now that we have another keyframe, we're going to animate Pikachu by drawing him in a different pose. So we're basically going to turn on the onion skin and then draw a new pose. We're going to make Pikachu look happy. Now that Pikachu's done, what we're going to do is we're going to double click outside of Pikachu to go back to the main timeline or you can always hit the arrow in the top corner. And then we're going to extend the frames a bit using F5. And then somewhere in the middle we're going to create a keyframe. And then we're going to skew him using the skew tool. I don't think that's what it's called. I think it's called the free transform tool. We're going to skew him down. Sometimes you have to move the actual anchor point. Then we're going to create another keyframe and then skew him upwards. And then down here in the properties, we're going to have to change it to the second frame instead of the first frame so that way he's switching between positions. And if you want to actually see a rendered version of what you created you can always press control enter. It looks good but we can make it even better. We're going to extend the frames a little bit so that way it's not so fast. And then we're going to add another keyframe to make it look like he's actually bouncing. We're going to add another keyframe just to fix the bounce a little bit. Right there. And now when we render it, he's actually bouncing. So yeah, that's basically how you can create really cool, easy animations using Macromedia Flash 8 and a $23 drawing tablet.
If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want, I don't care. Thank you so much for watching this video and zoop!